All right, everybody, welcome back to this video, and uh, we can get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is gonna see if we can get that. Crap, how do you do this? There we go. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the sprite class if we can. So we're going to head and do that. Um, sprite class. So first thing... Oh wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> My bad. And here, in the sprite class, we're going to make private final buffered image. Woo, that, not, that's not right. Buffered image. There it is. And no, we don't want buffer. We just want buffered image. And this is going to be called the sprite sheet. So it's going to be in all caps. And we're supposed to initialize it right now. Initialize it to null. Um, for now. But we're going to have a buffered array. Um, or for the image array, multi-dimensional as well. So uh, let's do that. We also have a private ints. Um, actually, go ahead and make this final ints. Tile size, and by default, we have it to be the tile size to be 32. So that's like 32 by 32 um, pixels um, wide and in length as well. And we're also gonna have a public int. And public H, um, and yeah, we have this as well. This is totally different. And H sprite, and then we're gonna have the constructor, and this will sort of determine how things will be, um, how how things will be loaded, how the images will be loaded, basically. So yeah, if it's just this, it's just the, the string name. Then we're going to assume that it wants the the tile size. Oops. And same thing with the, the height here. And you can also say um, print line. Just get like some output here saying that it's loading. We're gonna also gonna have a the spreadsheet be declared. I don't think this is gonna work. But apparently, I have that it does work, but it shouldn't work. But let's see. And let's go ahead and make that. Um, actually, let's go ahead and make the other constructor. Yeah, man, get off her her case. Good point, man. Uh, then we have a W. This is if we actually know what tile size we want to import. So we have that like flexibility going on. I guess we could just do the same thing, right? And spreadsheet is equal to load sprite file. Basically, almost the same thing. Here's where it gets di gets different. It's equal to the sprite sheet. Whoops. Sprite sheet dot get width divided by h and h sprite. Whoops. Sprite is equal to the sprite sheet dot get height. And this is, so this is for the individual sprites, I guess. Just, well, that's actually a long constructor. We don't want that. We want to do this. All right. So, so yeah. So this will, this is the total number of sprites that there will be, and on the screen. And we forgot to do that here as well. So we're gonna do that really quick. There we go. Um, also, we're gonna have another method called load sprite array. And we do that here as well. Let's go ahead and make those. So first thing we want to do is we want to set the size. Um, 
Um, and let's make like separate methods for the each, because why not? Um, This actually might not get used, now that I think about it. Mm. Okay, so we got that, and, and since we actually did that, we actually have to update the, uh, the, the W sprite as well. Swoops. So I'll get with W. Here too, H sprite is equal to sprite sheet dot get height. And let's go to H. There we go. That's done. And I guess we can have getters for it as well, so. Oh, get width, and then all we're going to do is return the W. And we're going to return the H. That's all we need to do there. Then we're going to actually do the, the load sprite method. So all we have to do is go buffered image because we need to give that 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 image back so so we want a string and we call it file and all we have to do is buffer to image uh sprites to null and then we have to do a try catch here um exception e uh, let me return the sprite, do we? Okay, um, so all we have to do here is just do sprite is equal to, um, dot io. We get this class, right? And then dot, we're gonna get the class loader. And then we're gonna get resources on stream, and then we pass in file. Um, so, we're gonna do that. Just so we can't load it. And then we have to load the sprite array, which is kind of completely different. So, sprite array. Um, sprite array. Let's get the new buffered image. H sprite. And we want the W spread as well. Actually, that doesn't sound right. I don't feel like it's right. I feel like we need to go for the W and then H. I guess it all depends on the for loop, right? So we do X is equal to zero. And X is less than W spread. We do X plus plus. Whatever. Do the same thing for the Y basically. Y is less than H sprite. Y plus plus. And we go spread array. And go X, Y is equal to the get sprite. And then that's something else that we have to make. And then pass in the X and Y. So what we got going on here is, as I said before, this is the the W sprite and the H sprite is the total number of sprites that are in the sprite sheet. 
um, if you times them together, basically. So W sprite is the total number of um, of, uh, of columns in that sprite, in that sprite sheet, and H is the total number of rows in that sprite sheet. So is that right? Let me think about that for a really quick second. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah. So then we're gonna loop through all the, the W's. I can actually explain this with a, an image or something. Uh, don't think I have one. Okay. So yeah, we can just say So yeah, so you got the the, uh, the, 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 the the columns and you got the rows. So basically what this is going to do, it's going to go through each column. And then once you get to the end, it's going to go through the, the next row and the next and the next and so on. So that's how that for loop is going to work, basically. Um, hopefully. So yeah. Uh, now we actually make the get sprite method. So we're going to do that. Um, for whatever reason, we might have to get the whole sprite sheet. So we're going to just do that. Get sprite sheet. And all we do is we return sprite sheet. And then we got another one. Perfect image. And this is the get sprite. All we need to do here is do that, do that, and return um, the sprite sheet. Got get sub image and the uh, y times the h. Right? Oh wait, no. Then we do the the w and the h. Okay. There we go. And that should be it. Yeah. And we can also do let's actually make, just make that like that. What we're also gonna do is this. We're gonna make another freaking stupid little thing. It's gonna return a buffered array this time. Buffered image array. And this is gonna be used for animation class mainly. So all we do is return the spread array. And then this is also going to be used for the um, for the animation class. And we'll put a two in there, because why not? So and this will return the whole spread array. Like that. So yeah, I think that's it. We got two other classes, two other methods that we can use, and we can go ahead and actually actually create them right in a second. This is going to be used for the fonts, so let's go ahead and do that. And we're passing the graphics 2D, and then the array list. Uh, array list? I think so. Huh. Do we want to do that? Hmm. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Uh, there we go. Image. Okay. Uh, is it all enter? There it is. And then we have to do pass in the vector to f, and let's call it let's call it pass because it's position width, and then this will be the height and the x offsets and the y offset. So this is kind of long parameter thing we got going on here. Not yet. So yeah. This will be mostly used for um, times when we need to um, basically like uh, graph like a whole bunch of images in a line 
or in a diagonal line, or you, you get the picture. We can do a lot with this method. So yeah, this would be mostly be using for like something like lives. So like you know, in um, in asteroids, you have like the the image of the uh, spaceship as lives, and if you lose lives, you lose an image, and that life that image is your life basically. So same thing going on here. But for convenience, is it? Con I guess it's a little convenient instead of like having to do it all by hand. If you know what I mean. Um, I'm gonna draw image, and we go image dot get i, and then we go. That's basically it, and then we can add the X offsets. So yeah, the next class, the next method, is actually going to be used for font, for the font class. And we probably need to create it before actually making this method. But we're going to go ahead and make a method, and then we can we can get it working later. So we still need the graphics G. Then we need the font class. Then we need the, the actual word. Then we need the vector of, of where that word is going to be. And we need the, the width of the word, the height of the word, and then like any x x offsets and y offsets. So let's go back, put it in there, and there we go. And all we have to do is float is equal to position dot x float uh, y is equal to position dot y and for i is equal to zero y is less than the word length i plus plus uh uh char at Can I not spell char? <laughs> there we go. Um, it's not equal 32. 32 is basically the space, so that's why we're doing that. You'll see what I mean by that. So, like, actually, I can explain it now. So, every char, every char variable or letter or character, every character has a special number to them, a special int assigned to them. Um, so, like, on your keyboard, there's A is probably a number, I think it's like, lowercase a is like 60 something. And it goes from there, like, there's like the A, B, C, all the way to like Z. And yeah, and space is actually um, 32. So that's why, if it's not 32, then, then you know, don't draw it. Because that's a space, and we don't have to like draw a space, of course. Now the, well, you can. I think you can draw a space. It's possible. Just make it like less white. Um, so yeah, now we need more stuff here. With uh, yeah, this side so with height, no, and. Yeah, plus equal x offset, and then y plus equal y offset. Why are you? What are you whining about? Oh, because it's not a method yet. Uh, let's see. So yeah, let's let's check that. Okay, nineteen minutes in. Next class we'll be doing is the font class, and that should do it for this for this video. So yeah, thanks you guys, and see you next time.